What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back on my feet after COVID. Gotta say, I don't know if it's just because I'm a male, I'm not trying to be sexist here, but I was down for the count. My poor wife had to look after me like I was on my deathbed. And now that I look back at it, it wasn't really that bad, except for the sore throat. I had to have a telehealth video conference to try to get some painkillers, and uh, I'd be lying if I said there were no tears in my eyes. But that's long gone, I'm COVID negative now, so I guess I've got a couple of months of immunity, which is awesome. We're out today doing the range test on the Tiny Explorer. One of my favorite boards of 2022. Probably my most favorite flexible board of 2022. We've got the Relive app running in my pocket and uh, we'll see how far we go. Now, their website says 30 miles range, I, th I believe, 30 to 35. But that is based on a, I think, 60 kilo rider, 65 kilo rider, so we'll get nowhere near that. Um, but we'll do our best to do some fast paced runs, some slow paced runs, and everything in between. There's loads of uh, pedestrians and cyclists out today, so we'll have to dodge them and stop at a few red lights. But we'll check the relive data at the end and we'll see exactly how we feared. That's 40 kilometers an hour right there. This Explorer just gets up and goes so nicely. Also, we'll be doing another pop quiz and we will be drawing the winner for the last pop quiz, the movie one. Loads of entries and we've got a really cool prize for this one and I've just confirmed a really cool prize for the next one. So hang around for the video. We'll do the pop quiz very soon. There'll be three questions again, and we'll do the draw around halfway through the video. All right, let's jump straight into the first quiz and I haven't told you this week's theme yet. This week's theme is going to be classic TV shows. We're going to play a snippet of a TV show. Could be old, could be new. We'll start off pretty easy, pretty iconic. You should recognize it. We'll get progressively harder. Put your answer. Just need the TV show. Don't need any dates or who was in the scene. Just the name of the TV show. Get all three right and you'll be in the draw to win. And I already know what the prize is this time. The prize this time is a, it's a, it's a big one. It's the best one we've done so far. It's gonna be an SLFX Plus light. So their latest SLFX from Shred Lights, the one that connects to the app that you can fully customize. I'm gonna ship one of those, a brand new one from Shred Lights. I'll go on and buy it. And we'll ship that out to you as your prize. So here is your first TV show. Ready, three, two, one. All right, so that's it. You should know what that is. So let's keep going. Uh, we'll check in at the five kilometer mark, 510K. The board so far going perfectly, full battery still. A couple of specs about today's ride. Uh, we're doing it in speed mode three. So that has really good torque and a top speed of about 40, 42, I believe. I am 100 kilos, not wearing much gear today. Just my Nobleman knee pads, my CX1 Pros, I think they're called. I did a little YouTube short on them. Let's keep riding and we'll check in very soon. This looks like a good place to stop. We'll grab a coffee, we'll do a check-in, and we'll do the draw for the last pop quiz. All right, guys, we've got the coffee. Let's do the really quick check-in. We're on 7.5 kilometers. The remote is still showing full. Uh, temperature today is around 19 degrees. It's really lovely, light breeze, hence the T-shirt. Uh, yeah, board's going perfectly well. We'll check in again, probably 14, 15 kilometers closer to the city. But the thing I know you're waiting for is the draw. Just a reminder, you have to be specific. 
So when I say specific, the answers are Jaws, because that's what it was called, Avengers Endgame, and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. You need to have that Lost in New York part. So let's go, we've got all the entries. Let's see who gets the winner. Okay, just a just spam killer. Ooh, he has not got Lost in New York. So let's pick another one, nice and quick. Quick game's a good game. All right, next up is Drew Ella. Okay, another fellow YouTuber. Awesome dude, actually. Uh, interesting board. Okay, let's see. The original Jaws, best one. Avengers Infinity War, Homeland 2, pretty funny, but not the best one. He's also missing the Lost in New York. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to draw again. And also, I'm not sure about calling the number one the original Jaws. It's just called Jaws. All right, let's have a look. Third time is a charm. All right, Condo Growler, Jaws, Avengers Endgame. Third home, Al what? Third home alone two lost. Oh, third. Okay, yeah. So he's he's done a weird numbering system. So he's done one B and third. I'll allow that. But he's got the answer there, which is home alone two lost in New York. So Condo Growler one. You have won this week's uh, pop quiz. The prize is a forty dollar nobleman voucher. So make sure you shoot me an email. My email address is in the about section on my channel. So go there, find my email address shoot me an email, I'll double check it to you, and I'll send over that $40 uh, coupon code. And you can still use my Scott D discount code to get even more of a savings. All right guys, let's get the range test going. I am going to have my coffee, and we'll hit the road again in about five minutes. Super quick side note, how good is cruise control when you just wanna go along at 10 kilometers an hour and drink a coffee, and you don't have a free hand? Cruise control is, it's dangerous, but it's also, underrated I think when you want to I've got an empty path here there's no one in front of me really I can just cruise and sip my coffee just cracked 10 kilometers and almost like clockwork we have just lost one bar of battery so 10 kilometers in board is going flawlessly uh, I literally just stopped and touched the motors they are very very lukewarm almost just feels like they've been sitting in sunshine for five minutes so it is one of the big benefits of those 6374s they just don't overheat with these ESC's very, very comfortable, no foot fatigue. Now let's move on to the second TV show. Remember, all three at the end of the video and you'll go in the draw to win a Shredlight SLFX Plus, their latest Bluetooth underbody glow light. Ready? Here is your second TV show. Michael, you got the power to go. Now I know that's an easy one, but the last one is gonna be very difficult. kilometers in and we've just lost our second bar a few hundred meters ago my estimation for about 30 kilometers I think is looking pretty accurate so we're gonna keep going we've had a few extra little hills because of uh, footpath and road closures oh double the breast people walking Jeez. 
People who walk more than two abreast and don't look behind them are morons. And you can quote me for that. It's like the path isn't that wide. It's like cyclists on a bloody single lane road who ride three abreast. If you're a cyclist, I apologize, but goddamn, ride single file. Anyway, let's keep going. That's my angry gripe for the day. As I said, 18 kilometers, two bars down, boards performing perfectly. We're gonna go back towards the car now. That should equal around about 30K. I hope I make it. As I said, we have gone a little bit further than expected in one direction because of a few road closures. But here we go. At the next stop, we will do the third and final TV show. Then you'll be able to put all your answers down in the description. And that is 25 kilometers down. Two bars of battery left. It's around the 25, 30%. So I should be able to make it back to the car. And I think we'll be very close to that 30 kilometer estimation. So wish me luck, we'll keep going and we'll check in again at the end. Before that though, here is your third and final TV show to guess. So just remember, once you've seen this, you'll have all the TV shows. Put them in the comments and we'll do a draw on the next video. And the person who answers them all correctly will win an SLFX Plus light from Shred Lights. And we will have a full review on that new light out very, very soon as well. Here is your TV show. All right, so there it is. You've got your three TV snippets. Name the TV shows. Some of them are very hard, I know. Do your best. Go in the draw, good luck. just ticked over 30 kilometers. We've got one bar of battery left, but the board is still performing really, really well. That 12S4P, bird, 12S4P Molly cell battery setup, it does perform really well. Yes, it gets less range than the M50s, but it has that higher discharge rate. So you get a lot less sag and you get a lot more oomph for lower in the battery, if that makes sense. The M50s will definitely give you more range, but we're down to one bar and we're still sitting on 40 or 39 kilometers per hour right now. No issues. And I'd say it's almost completely flat. That's how good the, the lack of sag is on those P42s. But we are back at the car, but we will keep going until I actually feel like the board is sagging because at the moment it still feels like it's going really really well we're in speed mode three and it has not let me down yet so we'll just keep uh, pushing it until uh, it doesn't want to go at a rideable speed now i sort of classify rideable as 25 kilometers per hour so once we can't get over that that's when we'll call the range test and end and like clockwork whew, that is the end of the range test on the tiny Explorer. So where did we end up? Well, we got exactly, or almost exactly, what I predicted. We ended up with 31.1 kilometers, and that's on the 12S4P Molly cell battery uh, configuration. Hit a top speed of 47 kilometers per hour at one point during the ride there, and the average speed, we 
it says on the app 21, I think, was the average speed, but it was a lot higher. We didn't stop it when I stopped for coffees and every time we stop at a light and wait for three minutes for it to go green and so on. My average speed, I would say, calculating at every single point I could, I was well over 30 kilometers per hour. So well over 30K an hour for an average speed, 31.1 kilometers range. The board performed absolutely just flawlessly. Motors are cool to the touch, like literally not even hot. One thing I would say, and this is a bit of an oversight on my behalf, both of my front tires are a little bit low. So I will be more careful next time when I do range tests because that will greatly affect the range. I have a feeling if they were inflated to optimal PSI, I would say at least a couple more kilometers, but that's just a rough guess. But let's wrap the video there, guys. The Tiny Explorer, 31.1 kilometers, 100 kilo rider, 22, 23 degrees today. Had an absolute blast. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, put your answers below for the TV show. Give me some suggestions for the next quiz because we've got some other really cool prizes coming. But give me some suggestions for the next quiz. What should we quiz the next one on? Put it down below. And if you've liked this content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Every single subscriber makes a difference. And I do a little happy dance. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, about 80% of you guys watching aren't actually subscribed. So I don't know if you don't want to do it, but it doesn't cost you anything. Hit that button. Makes me very, very happy. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, skate safe, wear a helmet, and we'll see you on the next video. Yo! Scotty. Scotty.